Hello everybody, this is Vicious, and welcome back to more South Park and the Stick of Truth. So, the last episode, a lot of crazy things happened. We raided the school, fought for the Stick of Truth, realized all a lie, and now Clyde's a douchebag. Isn't that lovely? So after that long, eventful day, I think it's time to get some sleep. I am quite tired. Good also, a little warning, a um, this part's going to be kind of graphic, and there's going to be some are. nudity... And some other wonderful things, so just giving you the heads up now. Everything seems right in the world this time. No aliens. Oh, of course, the kid have his normal piece from like, can I? Damn right, I'm awake. Come on, underpants down. Oh my god, they're gonna kill me! Or, they can attempt to kill me, because they're weak as hell and I'm kinda big. So yeah, um, Plagues of Egypt. Should be fun. Hey, goodbye. I hope you like frogs. So yeah, probably one of the coolest abilities of being a Jew is from Plagues of Egypt. It's just stupidly overpowered. Shrink them? Well, you can't shrink me, you're, you're freaking gnomes. Okay, that's not cool. So now we have to fight them Let's at their level. The but first, Plagues of Egypt! <laughs> Rain out to fiery death. Then guess what grows out? So you can't do all four attacks, you just kind of do three of them. But they're going to die because it's great. So every time they do something, they're going to die. Oh yeah, one gets an attack all. Nope, you're dead as well. Goodbye. And that is one dead gnome. Damn right, you better run. Also level 11 after that. And some gnome gloves. Sweet. So we have to defeat the underpants gnomes. That's, that's going to be fun. But yeah, first thing. Let's get back our equipment on because you don't want to go in there naked. Well, we're not really naked, per se. We have pajamas on, and they, they kind of suck. And they suck pretty bad. So yeah, there we go. Also, we did pick up a basketball. Which our recurve bow is much stronger than, so... Eh, it's there. And we did get pick up Butter's Hammer of the Storms. Which is actually pretty strong. Three attacks. Yeah, let's get rid of our stuff on the sword. I think it's time to use Butter's Holy Hammer of Smiting. Actually, no, this is not Butter's. This is Butter's Hammer of the Storms. Um, what's stronger, actually? Uh, I think this is, yeah. I think we're gonna go with this one. Let's use Butter's weapon. So, we're gonna add Gross out. And, hmm. Remove shields is pretty good. Adds two bleeding on a perfect attack. Burning is also really, really good as well. Let's stick with burning. I think that sounds lovely. What do you guys think? Oh, yeah, before I forget... We have a perk to use, and I'm going to give myself brain food. So every time I use a healing item, I gain 2 PP back. That's pretty good. Anyway, moving along nicely, we have to go into our little mouse hole and follow some gnomes. Hmm, it's a mouse trap. Don't want to get caught on that at all. Oh, gnome hat. That's cool. Super bouncy ball. Yeah. Actually, is that stronger than what we have? Yes, I see that. Thank you. Super Balancy Ball, and it hits nine times. But I do like the Recurve Bow. Um, yeah, we'll stick with the bow for now. So we're going to do this real quick, because... I don't feel like fighting a rat right now, and especially at the fight a bunch of them, so it kind of sucks. So yeah, get electrocuted. Now he's going to run all the way over here. And dead. That is one dead rat, everybody. And one less battle to fight. Because that's how we roll. Also, yeah, make sure to shoot these down. Just, you know, more random junk. 
Also, this is about to get really, really awkward here, guys. So, another warning. Like we should tell him the truth. Why? So we can relive it all in his head? It's what better are the parents that he talking can't about, remember. Though? But if he really has this gift, he, he's going to discover it again on his own anyway. And then I they'll have a try gift? and use Ooh. him for his gift, and he'll become a weapon. They won't stop looking for What kind for of him. gift do I have? Keep everything secret, even from him. I'm so frazzled. Will you just make love to me? Of what? course I will, darling. Um, oh, okay, this is this is enough. I don't need to see this. Oh. 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 Why am I still staring at this? And now prepare for awkward noises the entire time. But don't worry, it gets worse. A lot worse, actually. We're gonna break this over here. And we're gonna grab this over here, which is some gnome's clothes, and a gnome pickaxe head. So let's check out that uh, pickaxe head that we just picked up. Actually, I think that's a uh, piece of armor thing. Hmm. Is it not? No. I don't know what it is then. Yeah. Is this it? Yeah, gnome pickaxe. Attack ignores up to 100 armor. Wow, that's actually really, really good. We'll hold on to that for later. Oh my god, they're, they're, they're doing a nasty. This is lovely. Oh, oh great. Also, we're gonna shoot this down. I'm, oh, it's up there. Yeah, you're stuck. There's a bunch of rats there. One's dead. Hmm. How do we take care of the other ones? Like that. I hope you like burning. Because I like burning. One more rat down for the count. So in turn, we only have to fight about one rat. I'm just going to smack him inside the head. But don't worry, we actually have Butter's Hammer's awesomeness. So it's weak, gross out, and burning. I like that. Oh, he has an attack up. That sucks. But he's also regenerating, so... Eh, whatever. You're done. Now he's tough. No armor, but he's super tough. No. Oh, ow. Oh, you gotta hit me, bro. Hey, you're gone. Goodbye. Yeah, this is still really, really awkward. Why am I still here? Stupid gnomes. A gnome pickaxe. Hey. Take a look at that. That's not bad. So piercing, shield smash, double hard hit, and double hit. Yeah. Well, that gnome pickaxe is pretty freaking good. Take a look at that real quick. I know we just put Butter's Hammer on, but... And it's also two slotted as well, so let's take this off. Uh, gnome pickaxe. There we go. I think I'd like to use a pickaxe right about now. Gross out, and I think in this time we're gonna... Hmm. Bleeding seems pretty good right about now. Yeah, let's get, let's get the bleeding on there. So gross out and bleeding. Alright, warning. Oh my god. What am I doing here? This is really, really awkward. Um, don't want to be here. Ignore the background images. Damn right, Warlock, I'm coming for you, buddy. Alright, so we have some more gnomes to fight. Because fuck they're me. protecting the Warlock. Fuck me, you fucking cocksucker! Come on, fuck me, I said! That all you got, bitch! Yeah. <laughs> That's lovely. Just did, you dirty little bitch! Uh, yeah! You dirty bitch. Wanna see me in the panties? The, the, the pant- Oh my god, this is just- This is just disturbing! Nope, oh, you are. <laughs> That's right. Channel your spells and die in the process. Okay, that one hurt. Ah, but you're dead anyway. So let's loot these bodies here real quick. Underpants helmet, hey. 
I don't want to see this anymore. I want to get out of here. I'm not sending you back. I don't care what you do to me. Get back here, you stupid piece of crap. I'm not done with you yet. You couldn't just let it go, could you? You couldn't just let us pick your underpants. No. You had to go and start asking questions. Well, I just want to know why you're taking well, this all. Well, now you see the true power of an underpants now. So, yeah. Now this I'm battle, it, it's something, that's all I can say. Let me say goodbye to your armor, and bleeding is kind of nice. Here comes some serious shrinking. See, the warlock's not too difficult. You can kind of predict his moves. I like my pickaxe, it's pretty freaking awesome. Oh crap. Balls! Matrix! So yeah, that's a hazard in the battle. Giant testicles. Isn't that lovely? Let's use some jujitsu. So 603 damage, plus we're shielded. We got some armor out of that as well, so, uh, hmm. Let's just smack him. Get out of here. Did we put anything on this weapon? Oh, crap. The balls are coming again. No. Testicles, no. This kid's gotta be dramatized for the rest of his life. I wish I'd spend more time gathering underpants. Nope, you have to die now. Alright, alright, you win! Take this! Take it! You can grow smaller, big, whenever you feel like it. That's cool. All we wanted was to collect underpants to stop the Taco Bell from releasing its toxic green goo into our underground world. You see, the green goo is actually a Oh my god. Oh, oh. Yeah. That happened. And we're gonna wake up like nothing just happened. Yeah. I am now mentally scarred for life. I just experienced my parents having sex. Oh my god. So yeah, we defeated the underpants gnomes and we picked up a new spell actually. We have gnome dust, which is going to shrink us and enlarge us anytime we want to. So we can use that to our advantage. Also, there's a quest to pick up here, actually. Hey, kid, since a lot of our best guys are dead by your hand, can you help us collect underpants? We just need a few more to hit our quota. Okay. Come on, kid. We need to fill our underpants quota. So we're going to help the underpants gnomes get some underpants. Because we kind of killed everybody. Sorry about that. Yeah, this is... I don't want to be here anymore. I'm good. I just, just, yeah. Anyway, oh, I can't, no, nope, I can't look at them the same ever again. I feel nasty. I feel dirty. But yeah, I'm actually going to make sure we equip our um, weapon with mods and such. So Lemmy Winks is a friend, and yeah, basically the people that we picked up during the one quest. So yeah, I, for, I think I put all the stuff back on Butter's Hammer of the Storm. Yeah, that's what I did. I did the thing. So, gross out, and, hmm, the bleeding maybe? I mean, bleeding is pretty good, but fire is also really, really good. So we'll go fire. There we go. My flaming pickaxe of justice. That looks kind of cool, actually. Hello, parental units. I hope your new friends are well behaved. You can't expect me to pat you on the back just because you've made a few friends. As soon as you have a lot of friends, then I'll be proud. Knock it off! No. What'd you get? You scarred your child for life. How do you feel? Ugh. Hey, there's an emergency meeting at the Elven Forest. Okay, so you head to the Elven Forest. Actually, we're gonna go uh, explore a few things because we have the shrink power. Let's 
to ignore this for now. Hmm. I've been discovered. You must teach me to see as you do, human. Okay, so there you go. New friend request out of that. See, so yeah, that's the power of the gnome dust. It's actually really, really useful. So I highly recommend using as much as you can. Explore everything, because you're going to find some really, really cool stuff. And also, I just got an achievement out of that. That's kind of cool. And now, what is up here? That was a chest. Druid robes. Sweet. That should be the last bit of our the, the druid equipment that we need. There, I fixed it for you. Welcome to the neighborhood. Yay, another friend. You have slain the mighty frost giant. I stand in awe of you, hero. Yes, I am your hero. I am so your hero. Um Trying to think what else we could do before we head over. I guess we'll just head over now. That'd be the smart thing to do. So anyway, to Kyle's house. Which is right here. Hmm. Also, there's an interesting television show. Terrence apparently fought it on the uh, president. Ah, Commander Douchebag has decided to bless us with his presence. Let's get started. Humans and elves of Zaron, a great evil has descended upon us. After researching last night, I believe we are facing a threat to our entire world. Clyde's Fortress of Darkness is over Yeah, that's a pretty badass tall. fortress. So far, he has recruited at least 50 warriors to be on his team, and he is... <laughs> you have something to say, wizard? No, nothing. Just think it's kind of funny how drow elves in the Middle Ages can use PowerPoint. You guys, oh this is serious. Clyde is attempting to raise an army of darkness. I believe he is messing with something he cannot control. He has recruited many of our friends, and so... Our only hope is for our two factions to join. Clyde's a douchebag. Fuck that. We do not team up with fucking elves. You got a better idea, wizard badass? <laughs> After what you elves did to us at the Battle of Wormsley Woods, you think we'll ever trust you? Yeah, you, you tell a butter that that was Jimmy's fault and he apologized. Oh, oh, we're Oh, Jimmy, what did now. you do? How about we apologize for breaking the rule about using arcane fire magic? Yeah. Hey, that was the human's rule, not ours. Join forces my paladin elf. Oh, my God. A good elf is a dead elf. Why don't you. Suck my elven dick, buddy. You know, oh my god. We are human or elfins are gonna matter one bit if all of Zaron is taken over by German zombies. We saw this is what true. green stuff does. We better figure out a way to stop Clyde or there won't be a world to fight in. Even if we join forces, we don't have enough warriors. So we recruit more factions to join us. The pirates, the Federation, and the girls. Dun dun dun. dun. The How the girls are not gonna fucking play with us. Yeah, dude, we can't convince girls to do this. No, but maybe the new kid can. The new kid has a power we have yet to understand. He makes friends on Facebook faster than any we have seen. That's my really amazing power. Find a way to get the girls to side with us, Commander Douchebag. I'll deal with the other factions. The rest of you, return to your stations and prepare for war. Alright, so we have to go and recruit the girls. And we have a new buddy, Kyle. I believe he'll also get Cartman as well. We'll have to make sure to test those two out in battle. Actually, let's, do, uh, let's bring one of them out real quick. Wait, hold on. We can't do that just yet. We elfcraft the finest shit in the land. Yeah? That's pretty cool. So, eh. There's the elven longbow and the battle bow. Mm. There's some new equipment to grab. We could grab the uh, monk's equipment, but eh. Nothing too crazy. I guess this means we're friends for now, but I still don't like you, new kid. Oh, shut up. What'd you get? To a cartman to say. Don't talk to me. Talk to Cal. He's your BFF, remember? You need mass services, Commander Douchebag? Stop calling me a douchebag. Jeez. That owl is kind of creepy up there. I'm not going to lie. So, yeah, our new quest is to recruit some girls. Because Clyde has way too many people on his team. He's not fair. He's not playing by the rules. But then again, he does have the stick of truth, which basically says, screw the rules, I have money. But first, let's wrap up uh, some few, few side quests. Yeah, I can't talk today. Go me. <laughs> okay, so there's 
this one, I guess we'll head over to Jim, uh, Kenny's place and complete one of, uh, Jimbo's side quest. Alright, so where is this currently located? I think he's back by this way. Hopefully. Oh, there's another bomb we can beat the crap out of. What Let's go! You? Come on, you stupid bomb. Want a tussle? I'm over it. Burning and gross out, that's pretty good. But he's in a lot of HP. Jeez. Alright, so now that we're um we're halfway through the game at this point, we get a new ability for everybody. So Stan has his way of the sword. This is gonna be really, really cool. I like that. You hit like my grandpa. Alright, let's use uh circumcise to get rid of some of that stupid armor he has on him. That's not nice. Uh, I got defense down, but not a full effect there. Hey! Hey like that, you stupid hobo. Actually maybe you got a good idea to piss him off actually, so let's use that same with David. There you go, nice pissed. I did a lot of damage to him, jeez. What I do? Exist? Yeah. And plus you're smacking me with a pipe. That's enough of that. There you go. Another hobo down. And this should be right here. Put the moldy sauces right there. And it's time to fight a dog. I do not condone violence violence on dogs. I actually love not dogs. Need right now. But eh what the game tells me to do. We can kinda do the gross out damage ourselves, so. Man, he has a lot of HP too. All right, let's use uh, Circumcise. Get rid of some of that uh, beefiness on him. And plus bleeding. Yeah. That has a lot of damage. Oh, oh, okay, that, that was wrong. Really? Was that necessary? See, so he's immune to gross out as well, so. Eh. Can't do everything to everybody. Like they used to a chance. Anyway, that's another of Jimbo's Monsters Hunted. And we're level 12 after that. Hey, pretty sweet. So, let's give ourselves a new upgrade. Sinners, be wary. Plague now inflict more damage. Each time you visit... Each time you visit Pestilence or Fiery Hail upon your foes, your team gains an attack up. That's pretty good. Let's upgrade this here. And, yeah, Whirling Doom. We don't really use it as much, but wouldn't hurt. And we're actually going to head over to Jimbo's shop real fast because I want to see how much that equipment's going to cost. Basically, some of the best equipment you can get in the game. Let's fly over there real quick. The city walk. Jimbo's guns. You won't turn in the um the quest just yet, like the parts of the quest just yet. What can I do for you, Duke? All right, so the sweet katana is about seventy-five dollars, and the crossbow of impalement is about fifty. We should have some junk to sell. We did pick up a lot of crap. Look at all this crap. Ah, who needs all this? Who carries all this, really? So yeah, if we want to, we could. We're actually gonna buy the katana. And we're going to pick up the crossbow. So we basically have two of the best weapons in the game. Also, there's wooden hilt and sword and shield patch. So yeah, we did drain a lot of our money picking up some of the best equipment in the game, but that's okay. Trust me, money's going to be super easy to get. So we did, did that, and I guess it might be time to talk to the girls. Yeah. See what they're up to. See what they want us to do. Hopefully there's nothing crazy. So yeah, we actually have to go help. Remember that girl we uh, we helped? We have to go talk to her because she's our uh, contact in. 
Also, I don't think this is the right way. Also, there's a banner over here, so we'll go smack that. Oh crap, zombies. Ah, oh, zombies. I hate zombies. They suck, especially zombie cats. Oh! That was dickish. So you can definitely tell how dickish they are in this game. So I'm gonna use a cure potion here real quick. Get rid of that nasty buff on me. And I'm sensing a plague of Egypt. You're immune to it, but it does take a lot of damage to them. Now they're on fire. Lovely. Actually, um, rolling slash I think is pretty good. And more bleeding on that cat. Definitely gonna try to make sure to piss them off as well because. There we go. Block that stupid attack, and the cat's down for the count. So yeah, sling a David. Eat my Jewish powers. Um, uh, we're gonna get rid of this guy here because I don't want him to come back to life. Like I said the zombies are possibly the worst enemies to fight in this game. That's just my opinion. Oh wait, they might she might be in front of City Hall, not in front of the church. I love my wolf security system. I refuse to be the Yeah, shut up, nobody cares. I mean that was kinda rude, but what are you gonna do? Actually we just couldn't run all the way over there because it's gonna be shorter. Also, there's another side quest you can pick up. Actually, we'll go right here right now and grab it. I completely forgot about this. It's not the best side quest, but eh, it'll do. Look, I got Nazi zombies to deal with. Most of my men are dead, and the mayor's breathing down my neck. Whatever you want, it'll have to wait. Hey, wait, you look pretty tough. How would you like to see what it's like to be a real police officer? Huh? That'd be cool. Kill some bad guys? Okay, kid. All you gotta do is kill a bunch of Nazi zombies and bring me the rings off their fat German sausage fingers. You get enough rings, I'll see about getting you an honorary job on the force. Okay, so that's another side quest. It's actually not a bad one to grab because we are going to be fighting uh, Nazi zombies. I like a kid who lets his actions speak for him. Yeah, be quiet. Anyway, let's talk to her real quick. What is this? The boys want us to play with them? I do owe you one. I can take you to the girls, but I don't think they'll be very willing to play with boys. Do you wish to speak to the girls now? Yeah, let's go see them now. Oh. Oh, what is this? The 412th meeting of the girls is hereby called to order. Sparkle, sparkle. Is that Orlando Sunshine. Bloom? Sunshine, sparkle. I don't know who the other guy is. Floor. If it pleases and sparkles, I move that we vote immediately on the urgent matter involving Monica Ryland. Yes, 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 right away. Oh, God. Excuse me. I'm sorry, but I have an urgent matter that I believe needs to be addressed first. The chair acknowledges Annie. Sunshine, sparkle. Annie Nitz has the floor. If it pleases and Shun sparkles, a messenger comes no. with a request from the boys. Yeah. Yeah. Ew. Ew. No. Yeah. Hey. So what request do the boys ask of us? He doesn't really talk. That's hot. The boys are See? playing some new role-playing game, and the new kid here wants us to join his team. What? We don't have time for that. Something very big happened, and we must do something. I know. I thought maybe he Guess what that means. Oh, that's not a bad idea. I glitter Annie's idea. Sunshine Sparkle, a motion has been glittered to have the new kid help with Monica Ryland. Of course. All right, new kid, look. There are terrible rumors going around town that our good friend Allie Nelson was spotted at the abortion clinic. I have never been to the abortion clinic. I'm not a whore. We aren't sure. Wait, but how old are you girls? The rumors about Allie is Monica Ryland. And then she has the gall to act all nice to me. We have to know for sure if Monica Ryland is a two-faced bitch or not. So, we're going to send Monica a Facebook page with your picture. Then tell her that you're Bebe's boyfriend from Lakewood. And you want to meet her and ask her what the best thing to get I have no idea what's going on right now. And see if Monica tries to hit on you at all. Because that way, we can see if Monica is a manipulative bitch. Right. Do this task for us, and the girls will consider your request. Sparkle! Sunshine! Oh, please. No sparkle, no sunshine. Ugh. Oh, so, yeah. We gotta go help the girls. You'll find Monica waiting for you at the park. All you have to do is pretend to be Bebe's long-distance boyfriend. When the job is done, come see me. Okay, so, uh... Whatever they ask you to do, remember we need their help. Ugh. Oh, Stan, how about you do it, then? 
You know, it's not fun for me to go do this. Anyway, we have to head over to the park. And meet Bebe. Because we have to do things. Ah, I'm being used again for someone's relationship goals. Hey, Nazi zombies. We're gonna have a good time over there. I won't disturb them. They're okay. So let's head on over here. If shit goes down, I'll come running. Also bring another flag. Oh hi. You must be Mike. Yes. So, you want to talk about baby? Someone actually uses uh, an actual look, name for me. My friend. I think she's really great. I, I don't know if she's the end all be all of girls. I mean, she's a little two faced if you ask me. But hey, I've read a lot of your Facebook profile and I think you're a really interesting boy. Oh. Uh -huh. The ladies you, love me. You two faced manipulative whore. What the heck? Thank God we sent the new kid to spy on you, huh, girls? Yeah, now we know you're a two-faced dick. Oh, no. What do you mean? You guys are my best friends. Then why are you hitting on my Facebook boyfriend? We brought someone else who might be interested. Monica, what the fuck are you doing? Who's this guy? Hey, Jake. Have fun, you two-faced gang. Guys, wait, please, come back. Yeah. What's the big idea trying to fuck my girlfriend? What? Nothing to say, huh? Well, maybe you'll understand this. Oh, great. Anyway, let's beat the crap out of him because he's a jock and I don't like those people. Come here. Yeah, I hope you like burning and gross out. Also, we're gonna have Stan use Mark of Death. Or Mark for Death in this case. Go boy! And defense down. Also, you're on fire. I hope you enjoy that. No. Hey, keep me my balls, man. It's not cool. Um, yeah, I. You know what? Just for that one, I'm gonna cut your balls off. Yeah, don't ever try to kick me in the balls. This is what you get for it. All right, who's next? And that was a super easy fight. So yeah, we just beat the crap out of Monica's boyfriend, Jake. <laughs> that sounds really, really dumb. Also, we have a new message from Monica. Also, yay, new friends. Hey, I'm sorry that Jake flipped out on you like that, but I still love to be friends now. Douchebag, make sure you host any cooties off before you return to Koopa Keep. You're a fucking traitor, douchebag. This may be an alliance, but an uneasy alliance. Oh, great. Hey, 20 people like this post. Some site has said I went on free iPad. Oh, God. One of those things. Ahoy, Maplebeard. Hey, Maplebeard. Yeah. Enjoy that. Did she just say no one would none shall pass? And I just kind of... Actually, is that a girl? I'm not even sure. I don't know anymore. Um, let's see what else we could do. Actually, you know what's funny? That's World's the Girl's Hideout, is that? Yeah. Right there. And we can't go in because... There's a room all the girls have a secret bank. Oh god, Nazi zombies. Hey, I I let you go before. Now you're all trying to kill me and such? That's not cool, bro. Also, hey. We'll talk? No? I see how it is. Nobody ever wants to be my friend. Also, did we go up there already? Yeah, whatever. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Nice, so I think we had to head all the way back over to City Hall, which we're not actually far from, so I think we'll just walk on over there. What the hell was that? That was really, really awkward. So yeah, let's go talk to, uh... The girls want to thank you for your help. We can Annie over there. I completely forgot her name. All right, then, let's so yeah, go. let's go see the girls. The it wasn't so hard to do, I mean, hey. Oh, great, I'm back here again. We want to thank you for helping us determine whether or not Monica was a two-faced bitch. Oh, is that she Monica over there? Bad, but it turns out she couldn't have been the one spreading rumors about Allie Nelson going to the abortion clinic. Yeah, so we made up. You guys are the best. Oh, fast. You see, the thing is, Heidi Turner was supposed to put on the Facebook page that you were Bebe's boyfriend, but she didn't. Because Heidi Turner is a two-faced bitch who says she likes me, then tries to stab me in the back. Right. Wait, what? So we need to know if Heidi Turner is the two-faced bitch who's spreading rumors about Allie being spotted at the abortion clinic. Oh. in order to do that, we need people to think you're a girl. 
Makeover. Wait, what? Ah, oh, crap. Wait, ma makeover? Oh. Oh, lovely. Oh, my God. Uh. I like this. Oh, no, you didn't. Yeah. Like that, yeah. Look pretty freaking hot, don't I? So cute. Yeah. Um. Good combo. Woo. There we go. Yeah, I look pretty freaking sexy. Sure you want to wear that? Yeah, I think You're I do. As pretty as you'll ever be, I guess. Let's get to the clinic. I'm a pretty hot freaking girl. Yeah, look at me. All right, new kid. Get inside the abortion clinic and find the records room. Take a picture of all the records from the past week and text them to us. That will help us Ignore find the, out the uh, those arrows on my back. I why none of us can do this. If any of us are spotted in there, people might think we're sluts like Jessica Rodriguez. Hey guys! Hey Jesse! Hi! Hi. Hi. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Jesse. Oh. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Jesse. What are you up to? Oh, nothing. Just finding out which of our friends is a two-faced bitch. Cool. We'll see you around. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Skank. Wow. All right, now go in there and get to the records room. Find out if Jesse had an abortion. Nice. Okay. So I think on the next episode of South Park and the Stick of Truth, we're gonna figure out who's spreading the lies, and I'm still a very attractive female. Yes. Anyway, guys, see you later.